Yeah, that's right, Chris. And as the sun continues to come up this morning, the, the reality starts to set in a little more with each uh, waking minute here. I'm going to turn over to the side just to show you. Look at that sign over there, that sheet metal just wrapped around that interstate sign. Debris strewn all over the place, even still on I-20 at this hour. This continues on the other side of I-20 where damaged restaurant signs are. There's a, a McDonald's sign here that uh, we're going to be showing you. It's just completely mangled. Other ones are knocked out completely and uh, it's hard to tell but there are there is some uh, pretty significant damage to the businesses on the other side of i-20 here so uh, again uh, officials have actually closed the bridge here on highway 167 due to the fact that it is damaged they need to inspect it before they can reopen it it is closed until further notice the bridge on the west side to this is also closed from what we can tell we were seeing officials walking up and down we're also seeing quite a bit more ems activity out here police uh, they're going go door to door as uh, trooper Reichardt was saying trying to answer these 911 calls as uh, daylight starts to break here and uh, the damage starts to become more realized here in Ruston so um, as the morning continues to unfold we'll be out here all day covering this and uh, keeping you updated again as uh, mentioned on our last live shot according to our news star partners uh, Mayor Rock Ron Ronnie Walker has confirmed two fatalities with this uh, tornado so so we'll continue to bring you updates as we get them here in Ruston. Reporting in Ruston, Brian Briggs, NBC10, your local news leader.